The throne of heroes. Home to humanity's kings. Legends. Tyrants. Even gods. And yet, there is but one heroic spirit capable of striking fear into even the most powerful servant. Ladies and gentlemen, Chen Gong. Chen Gong is an exceptional, multi-purpose, two-star caster, whose kit is genuinely transformative. He is a solid and easily buffable farmer, in addition to being an excellent and varied party support, who specializes in helping berserkers. However, his most notable asset is his ability to alter party composition mid-battle. He is able to considerably increase party composition flexibility through his own, uh, unique methods. Chen Gong is a ruthless farming caster, able to wipe out waves of assassin and berserker enemies with his art's noble phantasm, two-pronged formation. However, his NP's true potential lies in its overcharge effect, which significantly boosts its damage by up to an additional 900%. Better still, his noble phantasm is easily buffable, by the plethora of arts and caster supports, who provide a mixture of attack, arts, NP damage, and overcharge buffs. Examples include Tomamo no Mai, Zhu De Leong, Nero Bride, the Prince of Lan Ling, and future 5th anniversary servant, Mysterious Caster A. With their buffs in place, Chen Gong can attain comically absurd damage numbers. Accessing his Noble Phantasm is also not too difficult a task. He has solid NP gain on his Triple Arts deck, in addition to a 10% NP battery from his second skill, Tactician's Advice Rank B++. Furthermore, he can gain some NP refund from the overkill on his Arts Noble Phantasm, which comes with several hits. More importantly, those same supports that buff his damage, in addition to 3 star caster, Paracursus von Hohenheim, are also useful here, providing him NP gain and arts buffs, and invaluable NP batteries. Furthermore, their sharing of arts centric decks allows Chen Gong to sort into such farming setups, especially caster setups, easily, and once there, help facilitate arts chains that fill his own and his allies' NP gauges. When all this comes together, Chen Gong can potentially loop his Noble Phantasm, or at least access it twice within three turns, especially following the arrival of Mysterious Caster A next year. However, the main enabler of Chen Gong's damage and looping capabilities is his own unmatched ability to access support options. This stems from the post damage effect of his Noble Phantasm, which sacrifices the leftmost party member on the field other than Chen Gong himself. A most unfortunate side effect. Or at least, it would be for normal people. But Chen Gong is a monster, and so are we. And so we will now use this to our advantage. By eliminating the leftmost member of your party with his Noble Phantasm, Chen Gong provides Masters with newfound party setup flexibility, allowing compositional adjustments mid-battle without the need for the Chaldea Combat Uniform Mystic Code or Arashification. Once Masters have finished using the tools of a specific Servant, whether they be a one-star Saber or the best Servant in the game, they can swiftly obliterate them from the field bringing in a servant actually needed in the moment. Tired of Tamamo's lack of skill-based NP batteries? Gong it! Done with Waver's lack of specialization? Gong it! Finished with Mysterious Caster A's... Mysteriousness? Gong it! 
This gives Cheng Dong unparalleled ability to boost party flexibility by forcefully rearranging it. This tactic is pivotal in many three-turn farming setups, allowing for servants who have finished their part to be replaced. This may involve bringing in multiple high-quality supports across the three turns, allowing them to provide their various NP batteries and buffs, and then swiftly disposing of them thereafter. This is a common approach for many servants with loopable noble phantasms, including Cheng Gong himself. Alternatively, it can discard damage dealers, whose services are no longer required, bringing in either a support or another damage dealer who is ready to fire off their own noble phantasm. Beyond farming, this function continues to have exceptional utility, ranging from general story missions to difficult challenge quests. Of course, there are limits to its usability. Chen Gong cannot even use his noble phantasm if there is no one left to sacrifice. But then again, there wouldn't really be any point in rearranging a party of one, now would there? The ability to alter the team during the battle is game-changing, and marks Cheng Gong as one of the game's few truly transformative servants, enabling all new setups and strategies. And yet, this is not the only way he can help the party, as his kit also offers multiple, more conventional forms of help. Aside from his Noble Phantasm's damage and its reconstructive efforts, he also brings party support that is decidedly more non-lethal. Mostly. This begins with Scapegoat Rank E, a one-turn targetable taunt that also reduces the critical rate of all enemies. It can either be used to protect essential damage dealers or supports, force enemies into targeting an ally with evade or invincibility, help an ally build up their own NP gauge, especially against enemies that grant great amounts of battery from their attacks, or even used to kill off an unwanted ally. Finally, it can also be used to help certain servants that benefit from being attacked, such as fellow new two-star Gareth. If you want to learn more about her, check out my breakdown of Gareth via the card above. Cheng Gong brings further party support through his second skill, Tactician's Wish rank B++. This grants the party an effective defensive buff, in addition to 10% NP battery. However, of his three skills, his most notable is undoubtedly the third, Tactician's Cherished Desire rank A. Cheng Gong's third skill is Tactician's Cherished Desire Rank A. This is like a mini version of Merlin's Hero Creation, except it only lasts for one turn and is most effective only when used on Berserkers. Its first buff is to increase one ally's buster damage by up to 50% for one turn. This is a phenomenal tool for buffing any buster-based damage dealer, especially one about to unleash their Noble Phantasm. In fact, its 50% value at maximum level allows Cheng Gong to supplant Shakespeare as the ideal free-to-play support for a single servant. However, the skill only achieves its maximum effect when used on Berserkers. This is because it is only then that it triggers the third and final buff, a one-turn critical damage buff of up to 100%. This allows Cheng Gong to become a significant support for Berserkers with exceptional critical damage, and especially Buster Crit Berserkers. Examples include Mori Nadi Yoshi, Asterios, the recently released Arjuna Alter, and of course, Lu Bu Feng Shan. Cheng Gong lays claim to being one of the truly transformational servants in Fate's Grand Order. He brings multiple tools to the table, all of them sublime. Better still, using a double Cheng Gong system also has its merits. Together, they bring a combined 20% MP battery, two taunts which help servants like Gareth, 
in addition, and most importantly, to a 100% buster buff for one turn, and an extra 200% critical damage buff for Berserkers. Somehow, this servant is 2 star and free to play. If you haven't got him already, I fully encourage you to roll on the friend point banner to get this absolutely phenomenal servant, who even has the ability to kill death itself. I've been Seeing Genius, thank you for watching, if you enjoyed please leave a like, comment and subscribe, and feel free to check out some of my reviews of the other new 4th Anniversary Servants, such as Ryder Da Vinci and Paris. I've been Seeing Genius, thank you so much again for watching, and I'll see you soon.